All right, tonight a biohazard company is showing us what it takes to clean up a home or business if someone tests positive for COVID-19. NBC6 reporter Jamie Gorilla gives us a look. Now, as companies start to think about going back to work, they also have to think about the cleanliness of their places. That's why companies like BioResponse are offering decontamination services for COVID-19. We're about to go inside a building to simulate how it works. Let's go ahead and tape the gloves to make sure that uh, nothing can get in through the, that opening. Today, NBC6 suited up for a simulated decontamination of COVID-19. With a team from BioResponse Restoration, we went inside a home that is not known to have COVID-19 to demonstrate decontamination services. Manuel Pozo is the president. He would decontaminate any common areas, elevators, hallways, and then in some cases, we'll go ahead and decontaminate the person's uh, unit where they're, where they're living in as well. BioResponse uses an EPA-approved chemical that helps decontaminate COVID-19 by simply spraying common areas to get rid of any viruses. We're trying to get that chemical on every surface, and we're paying extra attention to the high touch points. After a spray down, workers wipe down. It's like traffic, um, you know, in a, in a, on a highway, on the exits and entrances. Those are the high touch points, places like doorknobs, uh, light switches, places like that where everybody touches. That's where the most amount of germs are at and the highest risk for COVID-19. BioResponse has 15 years in infectious disease sanitation with government contracts in Miami-Dade County, Miami, and Miami Beach. But Pozo says buyer beware. Some mold and pesticide companies are making false claims to decontaminate COVID-19. You want to make sure they're using the right chemicals. Stay away from anybody that's making these bold claims that, that once they're done, the place is protected for 30 days, even a week. The reality is no manufacturer is going to guarantee anything past the moment when somebody re-enters a site. The cost can range from 25 cents to 250 per square foot. In Miami-Dade, Jamie Garola, NBC6 News.